Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm going to do a quick disassembly. And if you have not seen the assembly video, I'll list it right up here so you can take a look at that. This is just a standard jacket style BC with a normal reg set, not anything fancy, just probably pretty much what you're gonna get if you go in to rent product from a specific dive store or something. In the assembly video, I use what I call the rules of left. So for the disassembly, I just reverse that and call it the rule of rights. So I'm going to start on the right side of my BC. And one of the things you're going to notice in the assembly video is I assemble without weights in. And in disassembly, I disassemble with weights out. So I read that, reach down, take my weight pockets out. Why do I do this? If there's 18 pounds of lead in the BC and you're moving it off the tank and you're trying to lift it based on the weight of the BC, maybe five or six pounds and 18 pounds of lead, it can get to be quite a bit to handle. So if you'll take that lead out, that's good. Don't forget to check the trim pockets if the BC's got trim pockets back here on the back. Make sure you double check those. First thing I'm going to do over here, I'm going to come here to my tank and I'm going to close my tank valve so it's all the way open except for backed off just a smidge and I'm going to begin to close it righty tighty so I'm going to close it and I'm going to come here to the right. I'm going to pick up my primary turn it away and I'm going to push my purge button. You can hear it. I'm going to purge the air out of the system. Lay my reg off to the right. Try not to put your equipment, your hoses down in here because when you get ready to lift the first stage off, it might hang up on something and pull the tank over on your foot or off the seat or something along those lines. So just set it off to the right. I'm going to stay here on the right. This particular BC is a Tusa Tina. Really nice jacket style BC, full featured, great ladies BC. It's got an octo pocket. Actually, it's got a little, a little sign down there that shows that that's an octo pocket. And I'm going to pull my octo out, face it away, push my purge button gently. No reason to break the purge. Just push it gently and you'll hear any air come out. Set it off to the right. Now, pretty much I'm done here on the right. I'm gonna move over here to the left. So the first thing I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to disconnect my gauge set. And of course your gauge may be connected down here, maybe down here on the D-ring. The Tina has this nice D-ring right here so that you take your gauge leash, attach it, and then the gauge sits right here so you can look at it underwater very easy. One of the things I want to make sure I do when I disconnect it is I want to look at my gauge and make sure it reads zero. If it still reads that you've got pressure on it, then you're going to have a hard time getting the uh, the first stage disconnected, whether it's a den or a, a yoke style. So look at it, make sure it reads zero. Set this off to the left. I'm gonna come right here to my low pressure inflator hose. I'm gonna pull it loose, disconnect the slip ring, lay it off to the left. I'm in good shape. Turn around so you can see it real good. Left hand on the first stage, right hand, unscrew my yoke knob. Lift my reg up and off. And this is where I was talking about making sure you don't stick it in there so you don't catch it and maybe pull the tank over, that sort of thing. Now, usually this little dust cover that is in the opening here of the yoke, there's usually some water in there. We don't want that in our first stage. Just blow it out with your 
you know, with your mouth, that sort of thing. Try not to use the tank pressure. It's irritating. It can damage your hearing. The biggest thing, it just is so irritating. And especially if you're on a dive boat with 18 people and everybody's going, psh, 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 you know, that sort of thing. Put your dust cover back in place. Snug down your yoke knob. Got it good. And I'm going to take my rig set with this. I'm just going to set it down here. Now I'm ready to take my BC off. And like I said, if the BCD is blown up, greatly expanded, then it's going to be hard to get off. Now, one of the nice things about this BC is there's a right shoulder dump right there. And all I have to do is grab that string, pull the string, dump the major portion of the air on. Because again, if it's super inflated, it causes it to hug the tank and it can be a little bit more difficult to get off. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna grab my tank strap, pull it. You just heard the cam pop loose. I'm gonna keep my right hand on the BC. I'm gonna loosen the valve strap and I'm gonna use my right hand on the tank strap and I'm just gonna lift and it's just gonna walk up the BC up and off the tank. Now I just untangled the little dust cover here. Up and off and as I come up and off, what I wanna do is I want to close the Velcro tank strap just close it so it's not hanging out there catching on stuff. And I can take my unit and set it off to the side and once I get all disconnected and I'm ready to perform maintenance, I can blow my BCD up orally, turn it upside down, drain the water out up, but that's really more in post-dive maintenance of my equipment, like rinsing and that sort of thing. I will say this, this little dust cover that is normally on the valve, the tank valve, when you pick one up, if the tank has been used to any extent, don't put the dust cover back on because it will maybe confuse somebody that this tank is full and you don't want to move your equipment over to a partially used tank. So that's a basic disassembly of a scuba unit. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, reach down and hit the subscribe button. The channel, as you can see, has a lot of different videos about scuba training and equipment, things along those lines. And I'd appreciate it if you join us as a subscriber. It doesn't cost you a cent. And again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. See you again later.